Bonjour everyone, this is Enzo Eigen of the Alliance for Loki, and this is by far my first ever clickbait title, so I'm really excited <laughs> to finally join the ranks of the clickbaiters. Um, and, um, but it actually is a real question, should I leave for Loki? And let me explain you what's going on. It's a little more complex than just, uh, just how I posed the question. Um, let me just get this auto fight going, just trying to complete content. Um, and so... So here's the situation. So we in Fort Loki have decided not to push next season, which actually is a really good decision. Um, a lot of people are just really burned out of war, and you could feel it last season where uh, you just there was no like there's that spark you get from war where everyone's like, oh wow, it's exciting, let's go, and you can just feel it. And and last season, yeah, it was, it was obvious we we didn't have the spark, and so. Fair enough. I mean, war is draining, and a big problem is that war just hasn't changed. It's become very perfunctory and sort of repetitive, and someone wrote up a really good um, explanation on the forum that just like, you know, aside from like four or five fights, it's really just very like, you know, like here are your couple of fights, and they're not so hard, they're pretty quick, and then you have like one or two really hard fights that someone has to struggle through, and if they lose, like the entire alliance loses because so few deaths determine a war. Um, the changes, you know, they're definitely going in a positive direction with the changes. I do appreciate what Kabam says. You know, they said they want to make, you know, they're trying to be really careful about what they do and, and make really thoughtful changes. And, yeah, I mean, a game and a, especially a mode as complex as war, I'm sure requires incredible amounts of just thought and care um, to get it right. And, and I know they want to get it right, so... So they're just being really transparent and honest with us, which is which is really all you can ask. I mean, you could ask them to be quicker. You could ask them to have more people work on it. But in the end, you know, they're going to they're going to do what they're going to do, follow their strategy, follow their model, and at least they're going to at least they're telling us what that is, and that's fine. So, so okay. So now this leads me to the question um, about leaving for Loki. So. Uh, Clownius Clown, one of the coolest members of Four Loki, um, his uh, alt account, which is an amazing account in itself, is in an alliance called, um, I can never remember if it's SXX or SXX, <laughs> but, um, um, and so we've always had a good relationship. We had a lot of people come from there, uh, Lizer, Meta, um, always spoken really highly of them, and they are in sort of the opposite situation is that they are going to push again next season but they have a lot of people who don't want to do war or i don't know if a lot's the right word they have people who don't want to do war and want to sort of take a season off so clown has proposed that we could have an exchange so we could um let some for lokians who want to push in war swap with some of the sxx members who want to um who want to go easy in war take a season off and this would be a one season uh, swap and we'd be guaranteed to be able to come back to Four Loki next season, which is really attractive because, of course, um, Meta is a perfect example. He's a person who who left Four Loki to take a break and then had to wait a lot of seasons to return because um, there just wasn't space. I mean, getting into Four Loki, a waiting list is always huge. And, you know, and it's even if you prioritize it for people who have been part of the alliance before, and still could take a while to get in but so this is sort of an opportunity to to go to sxx um try new alliance just see what another alliance is like and do that without without the worry of being able to return to four loki and so so yeah i'm thinking about it to be honest um it, so the pros are you know i i do like war even though war it can be monotonous and all those reasons i just said I, I still like it i still like the interactivity with my alliance how we all come together i like the strategy i like all of the like the pressure of each fight i mean like sometimes after a fight i'm literally shaking which i actually enjoy i enjoy that type of mode it's just a different type of game experience i like all the different types from you know everest content like labyrinth of legends to really hard like you know act fights like the champion to the stresses of war i mean that's all a really cool part of the game for me um, you know, it would be interesting to experience another alliance and, and SXX or SXX is a, as an alliance. I, I know a few people. I know, uh, I played their leader in incursions tournament, Rob. He seems awesome. He seems like a super cool guy. Uh, same with Ooze. He also, um, yeah, just, you know, they just really seem like good people. And so, and so, yeah, I'm ex would be excited just to, you know, get to hang out with a new group of people, increase my, my, um, 
my sphere of influence. I think I feel like that's a very, for some reason, bad <laughs> example, but um, but yeah. So that's that's part of my thinking too. Um, and yeah, and and then to just you know see what it's like someplace other than Four Loki. I've been in Four Loki since season. Can't remember if it was four or five, but um it's season what are we up next to now was that 27 we just finished 26 i can't even remember um i've been there a long time for loki a long time so um and part of me you know i want to experience all the pieces of this game and you know i've been very lucky i've been in alliance for a long time i've gotten to be really comfortable with it i've never had the stress of a new alliance and that feeling where you have to prove yourself and find everyone's style in it and just learn how to play and communicate um, you know, it's it's been easy. I mean, I've had been very fortunate that I've had such a great alliance to be part of for such a long time. And, and definitely, you know, I've become, um, what's the word, not sedentary, but I mean, yeah, it's just been just been very easy. And so maybe it's time to shake it up a little bit and, and go try a new place. Uh, watch when I die like 12 times in my first war, they will really regret <laughs> trading for me. Um, so those are all the pros. And of course, there's all the cons, the reasons why I wouldn't want to do it. One is I love for Loki. I just, uh, to me, it is absolutely like family like. I mean, I just have been around so long. A lot of the people I've hung out with in person, um, you know, I, I, it's hard to imagine not being part of BG3. I mean, right now I'm the oldest member of BG3, both like literally and longevity. Um, and, you know, I feel like it's, it's really, I feel like it's my absolute home and place in this game. Um, and of course, yeah, everyone else I know well um, in the other battle groups. And yeah, it's just, it should be, I don't know. I mean, it might be a really big shock to my system to not be in for Loki. Um, and then, um, yeah, of course, I'm always worried about things like, you know, if I leave, could something happen that I couldn't get back in? Absolutely, I know that, um, that you know, the guarantee would hold, but uh, you just, you know, you never know. It's like, who knows, something crazy could happen. And, you know, they get someone who's amazing and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, we want both Enzo and this guy, but this guy's already in, so we'll wait on Enzo. And then all of a sudden, I mean, I, I really don't think that will happen. I have so much faith and confidence in For Loki. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 I have to say it because it obviously is in my mind a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, I also worry about, you know, I am in Europe. I live in Switzerland and... You know, so my time zone is a little more difficult and and BG3 has been amazing with working with me in my time zone. So I think is everyone North American in my battle group? They, I think they are. If not, the far majority are and several of them are on the uh, dreaming side of the United States. So that means there's a nine hour difference between me and them. And it's worked and, and I'm really thankful for how well they've like put my AQ path. So it works with my time zone. Um, same with AW. And so... And so for Loki's always been amazing, and so I'd be a little worried that I'd go to um, go to SXX, and they would, um, yeah, it would just be a, a difficulty, and you know I'd have to wake up at like two a.m. to do war fights and things like that, or alliance quest, and so yeah, so that that also worries me though, though you know of course I've, I've dealt with being in this time zone all my years of playing MCUC and yeah, it's worked out. And again, I think SXX, knowing what I do about the the people I know, I think they would be you know, very accommodating. Um, I should mention there's a lot of former Forlokians in there too. Uh, Vega's in there. Um, was Jay Will? I can't remember if he was in our, in Forloki or not. Strands is in there. So again, so it'd be a very easy switch. Um, and it'd just be for the one season. I absolutely, absolutely would come back to Forloki. For Loki. And so... Yeah, that's just what I'm thinking about right now. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Like, so many players, like, good friends of mine, like, in particular, I think about uh, Co-op and Dreamin. I mean, they've had to, like, go through the struggles of finding new alliances, and it is really, really scary. You know, I've forgotten the, the uh, like, all of the stress, the fear, the worry, the consternation that goes into, like, decisions about alliances. And part of me thinks oh, that's good. I mean... It is a really, really interesting part of this game where, I mean, the alliances are so important. I mean, reward-wise and, of course, um, well, that's the big reason to get good resources. But also, just in general, I mean, it's a big piece of this game that really, really makes it fun. And so, and so, yeah, those are all my thoughts. I'm just curious. Um, I wanted to put this video out here. I feel like, you know, I, I don't often make these, like, deep thought videos, but... Um, 
I, I maybe I'll start trying to make some more just because I mean that's the whole life of the YouTubers be able to <laughs> throw yourself out there and then uh, and then um, get uh, lots of advice from everyone so so I hope you enjoyed this video a little different sorry about the clickbait title and yeah um, um, I'm curious what people think I should do um, I mean, to be honest, if someone said you have to make the decision right now, I think I would stay with Four Loki. But, you know, we have 10 days before the next Lion's Quest starts and who knows when the next season is going to start. So I have some time, I think. And who knows, it, it might not work out anyway because maybe there's not someone for me to trade with. Um, I also don't want my prestige to... Um, to affect the alliance I'm number three i think in for loki right now as far as prestige so i don't want to like all of a sudden leave for loki and they drop out of aq so that's a big reason too so yeah lots lots of factors going into my decision and yeah well i guess we'll see what happens and um but yeah that's that's what it, that's what i've been thinking about recently so hope you enjoy this video and i'm sure i'll be back with just a plain old easy crystal video very soon bye bye